Five Satoshi Mysteries In 2008, an article was published under the pseudonym of Satoshi Nakamoto, presenting the idea for a non-centralized digital currency based on cryptography. Satoshi then released the software, and began by creating the first 50 bitcoins. After two years of assisting with development, Satoshi faded away in 2011, leaving nothing but code and questions behind but taking with him a grand total of 1 million bitcoin. Here are the five top Satoshi theories. 5. Sherlock Ted Ted Nelson, author, philosopher, eccentric, believes that Satoshi Nakamoto is in fact Shinichi Mochizuki, a research professor of mathematics at Kyoto University. His theory is based on Mochizuki similarly posting a bafflingly brilliant paper a few years later, in a similar manner to Satoshi, but this time using his real name. This is perhaps one of the most reasonable and well thought out theories, however, it has never been confirmed or denied. If he then does the same thing in the clear, under his own name, it will let slip the real identity of Satoshi, Nak Satoshi Nakamoto. 4. Craig Wright is always right, right? Craig Wright, an Australian computer scientist and businessman, came out claiming to be Satoshi Nakamoto back in... However, when push came to shove and Craig Wright needed to submit evidence, he backed off, claiming he didn't want to anymore. Now, Craig Wright is pretty much the only person who believes Craig Wright is Satoshi Nakamoto. So you're going to show me that Satoshi Nakamoto is you? Yes. 3. So a man took a shit. This theory circled for a while because an ex-SpaceX employee claimed that Elon Musk had all of the attributes that one would need to be Satoshi Nakamoto. Elon Musk has denied this claim as laughable and very few truly believe it to be possible. It made it onto our list for the sole reason that one of the attributes the ex-SpaceX employee noted was that Elon Musk has the type of humor to create a name that is an anagram for so a man took a shit. 2. Nick Szabo. The case for Nick Szabo might be the strongest so far. There are two theories. 1. He is Satoshi. 2. He was part of the team that went under the pseudonym as a collective. There are many pieces of evidence for this, but we will note two. 1. Nick Szabo made a post expressing interest in Bitcoin technology before it was ever presented by Satoshi, and then later edited the post to change the date to a time much later. And 2. Researchers at Aston University analyzed Nick Szabo's writing style against that of Satoshi Nakamoto and found them to be, quote, uncanny. We're going to see more global um, vending machine-like um, financial transactions. 1. The government. Bitcoin was created by the NSA as a normalization experiment to get people used to using digital money with the end goal of creating a one-world digital currency run by governments and big banks. Based on a paper by mathematicians at the NSA dated back in 1997 that outlines a cryptography-secured digital currency, it is at least evident that the government had an interest in cryptocurrency years before Bitcoin was released. This theory also claims that the NSA could have done something to the SHA-256 hash upon which every Bitcoin transaction depends and give them access to one day snatch up all bitcoins in one fell swoop. This all might sound terrifying until you really think about it. Not all cryptographers work for the government, not even the best ones. And while the conspiracy of a one world order is a fun thought experiment, remember, governments are people and code is code, so unless the government has paid off every cryptographer to ignore flaws in the code, you shouldn't worry too much. It doesn't matter who Satoshi Nakamoto is, Satoshi Nakamoto doesn't control the code. To learn more about any of these Satoshi conspiracy theories, check out the links in the description below. Subscribe and share for more cryptocurrency entertainment